Hi, during this tutorial we are going to see another way to obtain a final 3D model starting from a set of aligned range maps and we will see how to use the Poisson reconstruction. So I load a set of range maps which have been already aligned, so you see here nine range maps and I want to obtain a 3D model which defines the surfaces covered, surface covered by these range maps. So the Poisson reconstruction uh, calculates a global function which uh, best describes the data given as an input. And so the first thing that you do, we need to do, so the preliminary operation is to flatten the visible layers. So transform the different layers of the range maps using the flatten visible layers filter in a unique layer. So this is the first operation. And then we can apply the remeshing. So remeshing, simplification and reconstruction, surface reconstruction Poisson. Poisson is a global method and uh, essentially it can be controlled using uh, only four parameters, but essentially the, the most important ones are the first two ones. And the first one is the octree depth and uh, it's very much related to the resolution of the final surface. Uh, this is because the input data has to be put in a volumetric uh, grid, uh, similarly to volumetric reconstruction methods. And so octree depth defines the resolution of this volumetric grid. So the higher octree depth is chosen, the more resolute the final model will be. And the second value, the solver divide, uh, is related to the depth in this volumetric grid when we try to find this uh, uh, global function uh, to describe this uh, input data. So essentially, you have to set the octree depth at a value that uh, is usually at least 9, better 10, but it usually changes uh, from uh, that set to, to data set. And uh, the second parameter, solver divide, is uh, usually has to be set on uh, the same value as the octree depth or uh, one or two units less than the octree depth. So for this particular case, for example, we can try to set the octree depth at 10 and the solver divide at 9. And we can launch the reconstruction. Usually the Poisson filter takes several minutes, so we have to be patient and wait for the result to come, hoping that uh, the filter is not going to crash. When the filter has been applied, we have a new layer appearing which is the result of the reconstruction. So this is the, recon the result of the Poisson reconstruction. You, should, you see that uh, the actually the surface is quite nice and we were able to preserve most of the original geometric detail. In the case that you were not able to preserve the enough the detail, uh, the, the way, way to get a better result is to increase the value of octree depth. The Poisson reconstruction has several strong points and a few weak points. Uh, regarding the reconstruction, uh, the, this filter is really very good and uh, another important thing is that it's very robust even to noisy data. So if you have noisy data, Poisson is always a good choice. Another thing is that the result is always a closed surface. So we can see here, for example, where the, even in the part where there was no range map covering the surface, the Poisson reconstruction gives a very plausible result. This happens both for the upper part but also the lower part of the of the face. Clearly the closing that you get here in the lower part of the model is very very rough but uh, usually you can get a very nice result for the closing of uh, small missing parts. Clearly in some cases we would like to uh, uh, merge only the parts which were sampled during the scanning but at the same time even in the case of the using of um, when we use uh, the Poisson filter, you can we can see that the triangulation of the parts which have been invented by the filters is much more uh, raw with respect to the rest of the model. So it's quite easy to find them, select them, and eventually remove them. The main drawback about Poisson is that this is a, a global uh, field, a global uh, method. So uh, there is no real way to control the complexity uh, of the
calculation that has to be done. So in, especially in the case of complex data sets, it's possible that we don't have enough hardware resources to complete the filter. So it's always necessary to find the trade-off between the value of octree depth and uh, the hardware resources you have. And sometimes you cannot choose an octree depth uh, value which is enough to preserve the original detail of, of the scanning. In these cases, the only solution is to switch to a more powerful machine, like, for example, a 64-bit one. Uh, but uh, there are cases in which uh, Poisson uh, isn't able uh, to preserve the geometric data, and so the you have to try to find another merging uh, uh, method, like, for example, the VCG, which can be controlled by uh, dividing the, the volume of reconstruction in sub-blocks, so in this way you are able to handle complex data. But anyway, Poisson is, ca can be used in several different situations and usually works very well. Uh, so just to wrap up, the filter is quite easy to use because the important parameters are the first two, so the octree depth which defines the resolution of the reconstruction and the solver divide which has to be set the same value of uh, octree depth and or uh, one or two units lower than octree depth. So that's it for the Poisson reconstruction. Again, please feel free to experiment, give feedback about this tutorial, and thanks for the attention once again. Thank you.